Okay, as promised, here is my video analysis of uh, how much data the Amazon Dot is using. So first off, um, you can see on here I've got it connected. It's been up for a couple minutes now and it really hasn't sent any data. So any conspiracy theorists who think that it's listening constantly and reporting everything you say back to Amazon, it's not. If it were, uh, the number here would be a lot higher. There would be more activity going on. So moving on to music, um, what I've discovered is that you are basically downloading MP3 files and then playing them back when you use the Echo. Um, now here's how I've reached that conclusion. What I have done is created a playlist uh, on Prime Music. This is an album that I bought through Amazon and I just put three files on it. Now I've also downloaded those files to my PC. So I've got the three here and you can see the sizes are five, eight, and seven. So Alexa, play Playlist Jim. So I was a little quiet, but it's now playing. And if I go back over to Look at the data here and give it a couple seconds. We've downloaded 12 megs worth of data. And you know, hey, what a coincidence. That's almost exactly the same amount of data that I've downloaded here. So what appears to be happening is that whenever you start a playlist or a station, it's downloading the first two songs. And then when you get to the end of the first song, which I'm not gonna sit here for three minutes, uh, it then goes and downloads the rest of the information. Um, so this is good if you're on a twitchy connection, like if you were driving in the car, you basically have got uh, to have a connection when you first start a station, and then you're good for two songs to start pulling down the next one. You don't have to worry about dropping the connection like if you were trying to stream YouTube in your car. Uh, however, where that's bad is that if you skip around a lot, you're downloading songs you're not listening to. So let me just show an example. Alexa, play Phil Collins Station. So now if we hit refresh for an agonizingly long time. What we're going to wind up seeing here is that this is going to jump fairly significantly as soon as you get bored and click away. Okay, here it's playing. Just my network monitoring tool hasn't kept up yet. There we go. Finally jumped up. Um, so we had a 9 meg jump on there and I'm guessing it might pull something down behind it. But basically it's the same deal again. We've downloaded the first two songs that we're playing and if I kick the dot offline, it's going to keep going. So you can see it's off. Um, and I've actually tested this with other networks. That's going to play out for another couple minutes. Uh, so good for a uh, tricky connection if it's going up and down uh, makes sense if you're at home however if you are on a capped connection um, or you're using your mobile data this is definitely going to add up if you change stations a lot if you um, keep skipping forward you're basically going to be downloading tracks that you never listen to so just something to keep in mind as you're using your dot uh, in your car or on any other kind of meter connection um, Unlike other streaming apps where you can say, you know, give me a different quality when I'm using mobile data, the Echo was just not designed for this sort of environment. So if you do skip around a lot, uh, you can wind up seeing much, much higher numbers than you would wind up expecting. Um, that's it for this video. I plan to do one last one demonstrating the speed differences between using uh, the Echo, Google Music, and the built-in voice-activated system in my car just to demonstrate uh, how much easier it is to use the Echo 